Hello, I am Christina Schonkweiler, the program assistant for the West Coast Constellations Intensive happening this June live and in person, the first to the fifth um, of June in San Rafael, California. And I'm here today talking with Shivasti, one of our facilitators. Hello, Shivasti. Hi there, greetings from London. Boy, am I looking forward to coming to the West Coast. It's been a number of years and it's one of my favorite parts of the world. So I'm, I'm looking forward to returning. We are excited to have you too. <laughs> thanks so much for coming and thanks for talking with me today. So um, what's got you excited about the intensive this year? Well, first of all, because it will be my first live workshop in two years. So what's exciting about the intensive is, is that finally life is returning to some sort of normality. As you, I have no idea what the situation was like in the United States. I know it was different from state to state, but our lockdowns here in Europe were pretty strict and very severe and very ongoing. So it's nice to be A, out of the house, B, out of the country, C, on an airplane, and, and, and also have the opportunity to go into a large group of people and to work with people like Leslie and Francesca. I mean, really, really exciting. So I feel very, very honored. So there, there are lots of different levels of excitement, freedom, the ability to travel back in a group, back to hugging people, and also to working with uh, two great colleagues, and the ability to present um, two, two workshops that, 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 are, that I'm very passionate about. Yeah, tell us about those workshops that you'll be presenting at the intensive. Well, one of them will be the language of the soul. So mm -hmm. one of the things that's very important to me um, both as a linguist and as, and as a writer, is the use of language and how we communicate clearly, carefully, and truthfully. And so the Language of the Soul workshop is really going to be around the use of healing sentences within the context of family constellations and really communicating in, with people that um, they're not a conversation, they're actually a transmission. And the reason why there are transmission is because the truth really does exist in the space after the words have been spoken. And that's what I would really like to convey and do exercises with people and have them experience a, um, a greater depth of truth through the language of the soul. So that's one workshop that I will present. Um, I believe I've been given an hour and a half for that or and uh, I, I could take up five days with it, actually. <laughs> um, and then the other workshop is around healing the interrupted reaching out movement. Mm. So all of us, each of us on the planet, and, and there are degrees of wounding, of course, and degrees of experience of this, have felt unmet, ignored, rejected, abandoned to one degree or another. So each time that we reach out to somebody for for closeness or acknowledgement or something that we need for us to be negated or ignored or, or abandoned that moment. And so because that is such a painful experience for us as children, we then, then teach ourselves to live behind a wall of not needing. Mm -hmm. However, that impedes us as we're adults, as we become adults, in order to join um, with others in intimate relationship. I'm not talking about sexual relationship. I'm talking about real, real intimacy and vulnerability. And that's what we all crave, to be seen and heard and, and held and felt. And so um, I've developed processes over the years to start to heal the interrupted reaching out movement that gives us all a deeper sense of uh, inner liberation. Wow. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. So tell us, I know you've been in the field of constellations for a long time. Can you tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about your journey? I very reluctantly um, got involved in family constellations in, I can never quite remember the date. It was either 1997 or 1998. You know, the, it gets a little bit difficult to remember these things precisely. And, and I say reluctantly because uh, a friend kept on inviting me and every time I heard her describe the family constellations, it sounded like psychodrama and I wasn't keen on psychodrama. So it took me several months to go. But once I, I went, um, and this was in when I was living in the Netherlands uh, back in the 1990s, I fell in love immediately. 
I fell in love immediately. And what really grabbed me about family constellations was the revelation of hidden loyalties. Mm. That actually some of our dysfunction, some of our failures, some of our struggles in life were all to do with having the courage to be happier than those that raised us, having the courage to be happier than, than those that came before us, our ancestors. And so, um, so that was a great revelation for me. And of course, there was the pheno phenomenon of representing that also got my attention because I thought, well, this is quite something to, to feel what another person feels and to report to the facilitator information that we couldn't possibly be, be privy to and that it just emerges from, from the field itself. So that's when I started. Uh, 1997, 1998, I attended many, many workshops. I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of representing. And um, I, I probably attended uh, more than 30 weekend workshops, something like that. Um, so I really dived into the work. Then I did some training with Bert Hellinger himself. And then I attended workshops by other senior people in the field at that time. And then I started um, facilitating myself. I believe my first workshop was in either 99 or 2000, I think 2000. That was in Norway um, that I actually gave a workshop. And then I did many, many workshops in, in South Africa when I lived there. In fact, I wrote two books on family constellations under the name John L. Payne. So mm -hmm. many people would know me. And, I know I've confused a lot of people by changing names, uh, but that's also part of my personal journey. Um, so, yeah, I've been doing a lot of work with Family Constellations over the past 25 years. Yeah. Yeah, I read one of your books and I enjoyed it very much. I thought it was a very clear description of Family Constellations. Well, that was my objective. I wanted to write books for the average person on the street. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to write books for psychotherapists or other therapists. I wanted to write, because I, 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 people continually asked me, how do I explain to my friend what Family Constellations is all about? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I thought, well, create something in language that's very simple and very straightforward without all the jargon. And that's what I set out to do. Yeah, and that is very much appreciated. Okay, one more question. Uh, the theme of the intensive is rest, reconciliation, reconnecting, returning to soul. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a few words about what that means for you? Um, I think reconnecting is the, the bigger part for me. Um, I think beyond what we are possibly realizing that we're dealing with a global trauma, and so it's time to come together and to start to heal that. Some of us are very aware that it has been a trauma. Other people um, are less aware. Um, so to come together for reconciliation, um, the world is very polarized at the moment, very, very polarized politically. Um, COVID has created polarization as well um, in terms of um, how people feel about uh, restrictions or not restrictions, vaxes or, or, or not vaccinations, etc. And I think it's just time to, to reconnect heart to heart and to feel each other again and to feel each other again and really and come out of this, this, this collective trauma healthier than we were before. It certainly changed the way I look at things and what's important for me as well. So I'm hoping to be um, part of that journey for other people too. Yes, yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Shavasti. I've been talking to Shavasti, who is co facilitating at the West Coast Constellations Intensive on June 1st through 5th uh, in San Rafael, California, along with Leslie Nips and Francesca Mason Boring. And you can find out more about the intensive if you visit www.westcoastconstellations.com. And thank you so much. We will see you soon. Thank you, Christina. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.